is going on, people? Ryan Williams, ASC here with your match preview. It's the League Cup, Carabao Cup, Arsenal taking on AFC Wimbledon. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you like, share and subscribe. I want to thank you all very much. I've been doing this channel for about three years. And guys, we finally hit that 150 subscriber mark. Thank you very much. So we are going to begin our journey to get 200 subscribers. So if you're a first time viewer already, let's hit that subscribe button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But once again, thank you very much. So AFC Wimbledon come to the Emirates. Now they are currently seventh in the league table in the, in the English League One. Um, I mean. We kind of have to be careful here. And people might be laughing at me already saying, what? Be careful. It's only Wimbledon. No, 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 no. Listen, every opposition we have to be careful with. Okay, we did comfortably beat West Brom Albion 6-0 at the Hawthorns. But, I mean, look at the team they put out compared to us. I think we really need to, you know, utilise the team differently This, this in this game. Um, we got Tottenham coming up in the weekend, guys. Stay tuned for the, the match preview on that that will be out within a few days so i'm kind of thinking a little bit different so we're gonna kick off straight with the starting 11 and you guys are gonna let me know your thoughts in the comment section and what would you do differently system players and your scoreline so for me i'm probably gonna keep the system the same um few players mm, probably i'm gonna give it a go you know, who I feel I'm not really going to be around in the in the start 11 against Tottenham. So, um, in goal, I'm going to go with Leno. Um, I think we should, we're better off keeping Ramsdale in for the Tottenham game. I think he's done very well since coming in and being the number one in the minute. You know what I mean? So, I think we should play Leno. Um, as the right back, I'm going to give it to Cedric. I think Cedric makes more sense. Um, in terms of just being a right back as he's a natural right back. Uh, I've seen enough of Callum Chambers and I know I've been an actual supporter of him last season. You know, I know he's not good enough, but, you know, he done a lot more than all of the right backs last season. Now Tommy Asu's come in. I don't really see Cedric or um, Callum Chambers going ahead of him unless there's injury. So for me, Cedric is there on the left Set um, left back role, sorry, Nuno Tavares. I want to give him more minutes, okay? Um, I mean, he came on against Burnley, looked all right to be fair. He did have that little run, but obviously, the end product wasn't really great, couldn't really expect much. But hey, you never know in times in football, we've seen it before. Um, so yeah, for me, Nuno Tavares. Um, the two center backs, I mean. We ain't really got much to pick from. Um, again, I'm keeping Gabriel and Ben White for the Tottenham game. Um, that whole back five for me, I want to see that in the league going mm -hmm. forward. And then in the cup games, we could just alternate. So um, for me, starting centre backs, Pablo Mari, Rob Holden. That's that's probably as best as you can actually get. Um, the midfield. Now this is where it is a little bit of a headache. Because me personally, I want to see Albert Sambi Lokonga and Thomas Partey for the midfield against Tottenham. We're probably going to see Granit Xhaka there. I don't like it either. We've done well since he's been out. The, the, the midfield has look, looked a lot more mobile. Um, we're getting balls out of the feet a lot more quicker. There's still issues a little bit there. Let's not go on like it's all rosy and posy. There's still issues there. Still could have done with another centre midfielder, but that is neither here the situation at the moment. So uh, we know El Nene has only just come back from his injury that he sustained in a. I think it was. I think it was the friendly against Brentford behind closed doors, but. Not really too sure if that was in training or he picked up during that game because he did have to get stuffed up pretty early. But the midfield, I am actually going to go with Maitland Niles and the Conga. I'm going to put El Nene on a little bit later in case he is feeling a lot better. Personally, you know, I just, like I said, I want Sambi and Party as the pivot against Tottenham. 
and but we know Arteta's gonna pick Jacko. We just we just know it. We just know it. But it is what it is. Um this is gonna be interesting doing the forwards. Now on the left, Gabriel Martin then it's just a no-brainer. He needs some minutes. I don't see why not, you know. Um, we know Eddie Nketiah is back in training also. I'm not really too sure on his fitness levels at the moment. So I think, personally, I'll probably leave him on the bench. Um, I'm actually going to go... This is going to be an interesting one, guys. I'm going to put Lacazette in that little 10 roll. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I'm actually going to give Foran Badigan the chance to start up top. And, of course, they can kind of alternate. And I'm going to have Smith Rowe on the right. Now, you guys might be thinking, what are you talking about? Why? Why would you do that? Well, I'm thinking wingers, I think Saka needs a rest. I, I, I personally feel he needs to be rested for Tottenham. And even that's another issue, you know, on Saka should he even play against Tottenham. A lot of Arsenal fans have actually started to think, you know, He's not really started the season great since he's come back into the side. He did do well in that in that game um, with England, but for Arsenal, he hasn't exactly looked the best, but we can talk about that um, during the Tottenham preview, guys. So I'm going to keep Saka out. Pepe, mm, as much as I feel, you know, we should actually give Pepe a, uh, a run out here because even he hasn't looked all that great either, you know? Maybe we can bring him off the bench a little bit later. We'll see how things go. Um, I don't see why not. ESR, you know, put him out wide. He can do it. We've seen him do it before. So I don't see why not. We can move him in the middle as well. Put Lacazette up top. Move Balogun to the wings as well. It's up to, you know, you guys what you think of that. Me personally, that is what I'm going to stick to. So Martinelli on the right. Gonna give Bal I mean Martin any left, sorry. Balogun, I'm gonna put him up top. ESR on the right and Lacazette in that little 10 position because he can hold the ball up very well. But you know, I need someone that's gonna stay in the box. I think Balogun will stay in the box. Lacazette has a tendency to come back and pick the ball up and try to hold it off for people to, you know, make those inverted runs inside. So I think that's probably the best thing to do. So, guys, I'm going to go with a 2-0 win to the Arsenal. I think we need to start scoring some goals here. Uh, I wish I could say 3 or 4, but right now, with this current Arsenal side, I don't know. I've got to be real with you. I don't know. So, for me, I'm going 2-0 Arsenal. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What you think of the start of 11, as well as your scoreline prediction. So, yeah, 2-0 Arsenal to me. That's how I'm thinking. I'll be at the game tomorrow anyway. So, yeah, like I said, guys, match reaction, match review will probably be out maybe um, on Thursday or Wednesday night. I'll let you guys know. So, obviously, you have your notification bells tuned in as well. So, I'm out of here, guys. So, um, like I said, like, share, subscribe if you're new. I want to thank you all once again. For helping me hit that milestone. And 150 subscribers. I appreciate you all. And it's the official start of Road to 200. So guys. I'm out of here. Enjoy your afternoon. And I'll see you guys. After the game. And give you that match review. Peace out.